5. This is NBC Miami at 5. Doctors and athletes are scoring big with new breakthroughs in stem cell therapy. NBC Miami's health reporter Dinah Gonzalez joins us with more on that in our Live Healthy Report. Hey, Di. Hello, Kevin. Stem cells taken from your own body, processed, and then injected into areas that are hurt or damaged. The University of Miami has been testing this therapy in research studies to help people with damaged hearts. Meanwhile, a Boca Raton surgeon has been using this therapy for years in his private practice to treat injured joints and tissue. Now he's at the center of a sports controversy. It's being called a miraculous comeback for Yankees pitcher Bartolo Colon. The 38-year-old is back to throwing pitches over 90 miles an hour, shutting out two teams. Just last year, it looked like his career might be over. And they tried surgery on his uh, elbow and his shoulder, none of which were successful. So as a desperation, he tried the stem cells, and you can, the results are, are there. Last year, stem cells derived from Colon's own fat and bone marrow were injected into his injured shoulder and elbow by Boca Raton orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Joseph Perita. Not here, though, in the Dominican Republic. Everything we did was much above board. The only reason he was done in the Dominican Republic is because he lived there. Tomorrow, an investigator from Major League Baseball and the Players Union will be coming here to Boca to interview Dr. Perita about what he used to treat Colon. They want to make sure the pitcher wasn't given any banned substances, specifically HGH, human growth hormone, which Dr. Perita admits he uses. On regular people, I may use a very small amount because I think it gives them a little advantage to maybe heal this area. But on any athlete from high school on, I won't use it because I know it's forbidden by their leagues. Even using someone's own stem cells for orthopedic injuries is considered controversial. Here's a quote from Dr. Scott Rodeo from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. There's tremendous potential here, but it's not ready to be used on a regular basis. We need more information. There's very little human data. We're going to put it in his ankle, so we're not going to get that much in there. Dr. Perita says he's treated around 2,000 patients and claims to have an 80% success rate, relieving pain and improving motion without surgery. But it's not for everyone. For instance, if somebody has a, a joint where they can barely move it, I'm not going to be able to help. I've got to be realistic about things. Former Network News correspondent Tim O'Brien flew in from Baltimore. He's hoping his stem cells will save him from rotator cuff surgery. A team surgeon for one of the Major League Baseball teams said, no harm in trying. If it doesn't work, we can still do the surgery. But insurance doesn't cover the cost of this treatment, about $4,800. Dr. Perita says stem cells can be abused or misused and thinks Major League Baseball should form a committee to regulate the use of stem cell injections and PRP, platelet-rich plasma. Helping you live healthy, Diana Gonzalez, NBC Miami. Very wow, interesting stuff. Wow, so cool. Isn't that neat? I really like that.